Before I start the review, I'd like to give a big thanks to Antonin at Binary Age for sending me a free Total Finder license for review purposes. Total Finder is a macOS 10 plugin available for Snow Leopard and Lion, and you can get a 14-day free trial, or you can buy Total Finder. A single license is $18, and a free license pack is $36. Total Finder adds useful features to improve Finder, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating the top features. Tabs is a common feature found in web browsers, and now you can also create tabs in Finder, which will display multiple directories within one window. You can open up a new tab, switch between tabs, reorder tabs, pull out the tab to create a separate window, drag a tab to insert it between other existing windows, and close the selected tab. A tabbed finder allows better organization and viewing. Dual mode allows two finder windows to display side by side. To activate this, press command U on the keyboard. With dual mode started, you can easily work between two directories such as moving files and folders from one panel to the other. To leave dual mode, double tap on the tab to break into two single tabs. By performing the shortcut shift command semicolon in listed views, Folders will arrange to be viewed at the top of all files. This works nicely if you prefer to see folders first, then mix files and folders. Hidden files can be shown by pressing Shift Command Full Stop. This will toggle display of system files without needing to restart the finder. The visor is a total finder window which will pop up by performing a keyboard command. By default, it is option option. The visor is customizable in finder preferences and useful when the dock is auto hidden. The idea is to have the finder ready whenever you want. You can pin the visor by clicking the blue button so it will stay open while you switch to another application. Overall, Total Finder is a bit pricey but still worth the amount you get in return, especially to those who rely on the finder to search through the Mac. I hope you enjoyed the review and please stay tuned for more.